Live from your breaking weather leader, you're watching KKTV 11 News. Well, we're just looking at some isolated showers across southern Colorado, so nothing compared to what we had out there last weekend. So we're getting a good opportunity to dry out here, especially along I-25, where some of us picked up two to four inches of rain over the weekend. And also late last week was pretty wet as well. Those showers and storms move on out of here, but maybe a few new ones can develop later on this evening around the Pikes Peak region. Also, those should be pretty isolated in nature. Not uh, very heavy rain producers either. And pretty quickly after midnight, everyone is going to start to look dry, so we'll be dry through the overnight and also clear and sunny to wake up tomorrow morning before new clouds will start to build their way back in by later tomorrow afternoon. I think for the majority of the day, we're looking at plenty of sunshine, especially over the eastern plains. I do think a couple clouds will build back around I-25 tomorrow afternoon and the rain chances are going to stay off towards the higher terrain off to our west. So we're looking at another dry day tomorrow. We're still going to have to keep an eye, though, on those hazy skies as the wildfire smoke is still going to stick around, as you just heard Luke talk about. About as well. Now with that, temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer than what we had out there today. Should be back in the mid 80s for Colorado Springs, 90 for Pueblo, but also there the wildfire smoke could be a bit of an issue if there's a bit more of it that will filter more sunshine and that will keep us just a few degrees cooler as we go into tomorrow. So with that, we're alerting you first to yes, finally some more dry time into this week after this past weekend. I think many of us will be happy to see some more dry weather in there. The hazy skies, as I mentioned, they're going to stick around for at least a couple more days and it's a little difficult to say if it's going to get worse or not really depends on the exact flow so we're not really very good at determining exactly how that's going to look for the next couple of days but it will stick around probably at least through Wednesday but still despite the wildfire smoke still looking at increasing temperatures over the next couple of days we should be back in the 90s by probably Thursday maybe Wednesday already but at least Thursday Friday looking much warmer also into next week and still looking at temperatures well above average could be some isolated shower and storm chances in there throughout the week and I think the better chance down here on Long I-25 is going to be on Wednesday. The rest of the week is looking pretty dry again but new moisture will work its way back into the area maybe as early as Friday but certainly by the time we get into the weekend also by that time temperatures a little bit cooler so looking at some much warmer temperatures compared to what we had out there the past couple of days. Pueblo looking completely dry through the extended forecast with plenty of sunshine upper 90s there a bit cooler for Canyon City and then better storm chances are going to be in Woodland Park. Temperatures over there in the 70s and 80s. So Adam, mostly dry throughout the uh, the forecast. Just some isolated storm chances in there. Much better, I would say, than what we had this past weekend.